Hey guys, I uh, I've been noticing that my tractor likes to surge very slightly when I go from my idle and I take it up to full throttle. I'll get like a little black smoke momentarily, and then it wants to surge. And then what I'm finding is that if I pull back on my choke a little bit, my tractor smoothens out. Okay. And, uh, and it runs a little bit, runs, runs better. I don't know why this is happening, but I've never had this carburetor off. So I, I ran it yesterday, shut her down, let her cool down a little bit. And uh, when I'm driving it around and I got the choke completely off, it runs good. The governor works good. Nothing, I don't think any of the governor linka linkage is uh, binded up or anything like that. So I don't think it's a governor issue. And I took the spark plugs out of it. And when I ran it, I shut it off. I took the spark plugs out of it. I noticed that my spark plugs were a little bit on the white, white side. They they weren't tan like a paper brown bag. They were more on a whitish side. I am running a higher octane fuel in it, but I've been mixing the regular fuel into it, so I got kind of like a blend going on. But this was happening last year too. And uh, I get on the forum and I start looking at everything and they say that a lot of times when you have to slightly do the choke to smoothen it out and you start getting a whiter build up on your plugs instead of like a paper brown, you don't want them to be black or sooty. Um, what is going on is it's running lean and there might be an obstruction in the main fuel jet. So I'm going to take you along on this process and this may help me and it may not, I don't know. But, you're not supposed to be pulling on your choke to make it smoothen out, even just slightly. So one of the first things we want to check, and this is my little special drain tube, one of the first things we want to check is the float level. Because if I'm going to take this apart, I'm going to want to uh, check the float level. I, it could be off a little bit too. So when you look at this diagram for setting your float level, this would be off the tractor. Carburetor is upside down in this video. It says 15 30 seconds to 17 30 seconds from the gasket that meets the lower bowl is where your fuel line should be meeting up. So when we take those two measurements, 15 30 seconds, 17 30 seconds, we come up with 0.468 and 0.531 as our margin. You add them together, divide them by two, add a few, you get 0 0.50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my dial indicator at 0 0.50. I know you can't see that guys. And we're going to see roughly where the level is on my tractor and I'm going to start it up and run it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the tractor up and with this nice tube gravity is going to feed it down it's going to show me roughly where the level is in my fuel bowl. Okay? So I'm going to turn the gas on. Hopefully you can start to see the gas come in. Okay? And then I'm going to make sure my tractor is in neutral and it's cold. And I'm going to start it, run it through, turn it on first. Take it right down to the idle. You can see how it's adjusting itself. Now it levels out. Okay. 
let's take a look at this and see what we got. I'm going to set it on 0.5. I think I got a blockage. Right now, when I look at this, I'm right on. And I thought it was right on. So I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I have a blockage. So what we're going to do is shut the fuel off and I'm going to empty my gas into a nice friendly bowl. Now I know it's impossible to see guys. There was a little bit of Pepsi in my, my uh, bottle here. Not a lot, but a few drips. But you see those floaties in there? That wasn't in there unless Pepsi sent it to me. So even when I drained out my carburetor, I did get a few specks that fell through as I ran it and did all this stuff. So I, I think I'm getting some blockage in my main jet. So I'm gonna take the carburetor apart and take a look at it. But I know it's hard to see that and I got it on macro. And it's very hard to see. But those, those are floaties in there and it's not from the Pepsi. So this may seem like overkill, but the object is to get the nicest, widest as you can for when you get on these screws. Okay, so let's get this emulsion tube out. Five sixteenths. Go through the choke. That's how I had to do it last time. So next thing we're going to do is take out this. This, I believe, yes is attached to my idle speed jet which I've never had any response with this thing don't know why just it never did even after I cleaned it the first time around maybe I just didn't do a good enough job I boiled the whole carburetor now I don't know if it's going to make a difference but I did find there I didn't realize there was a hole there and there's another hole in that main jet that meets up with all this stuff it was really difficult to see but I think I had a blockage I could never do my idle speed but that's in the top the idle jet was non-responsive so maybe because I took a fine piece of copper wire through there cleaned it up and it was kind of like it wasn't perfectly round it was kind of like it was like this maybe that will help I don't know we'll see so next we're going to work on the top plate and see if I can't get this fixed well let's put all this back together before I get it mixed up All right, we're going to start assembling.
So we measure 1 in 5 30 seconds, which comes out to 1.15. There's 1.5 and a half, 0.156. So 1.156. You measure the top of the gasket. So I'm, I'm right on top of that pontoon, so that's good at the front. And And there I'm good too. I'm going to make us a new tube since I cut this. Okay? It's just easier this way. Alright, let's try it again. Okay. I'm still in the margin. Maybe a little high. And hopefully without making a mess, we're gonna try it. It's not overflowing, which is a good thing. Okay. Three quarter turn on my idle. No leaks, fuel is on, gas is on, she's in neutral. Let's see what we get. Look at that. I could never adjust the idle screw on this. Look at this. I got it all the way in. Listen to it. Listen to it later. Look at it smoking. Here we go. I could never do that before. I could never do that before, guys. I think I might have fixed it. I Here's the test. After a good warm up, I went for a nice long ride. I'd come home and I'd hit that throttle and she was third. We're going to see what she does.
call that a successful day. We'll talk to you all later, buddies.